welcome back everybody and um, so we're going to kick off now our afternoon session and our first talk is going to be from Tatiana Romanova who's going to talk to us about the five function technique for packing problems mathematical modeling optimization and application and uh, dear colleagues uh, first of all allow me to extend myself who will execute the organizer of the conference to invite me I'm happy to visit this beautiful place and to be the part of this remarkable event. And now let us come down to the topic of my talk uh, related to optimization of taking problems of arbitrary shape two and three dimensional objects. Joined with my colleague Julia Beno from University of Leeds. And we discuss here first. A geometrical tool for analytical description of packet constraints, different classes of mathematical models of classes of packing problems motivated by application, some solution strategy, and computational results. As it is known, that packing problems have a wide spectrum of application including biology, nanotechnology, medicine, material science, and just the few to say. In particular, a non-standard irregular packing problem arises in orthopedic surgery when you have some domain like a spherical shell with uh, non-constant curvature and thickness and density. And each item is the part of the spherical shape of, and the problem consists in placing all items together uh, within the domain, like a puzzle problem. And uh, we have just a limit, like and not more than half an hour. And we get the number of items that they approximately the five uh, items. And uh, we Technic spheres is a key geometric task in planning treatment with gamma-nice uh, to fill 3D tumor for us this irregular shape domain with spheres as considered radiation shirts. And uh, we need to take into account that overlapping of spheres can cause an overdose and while a low filling coefficient or low picking factor can cause uneven distribution of the dose of radiation. Uh, <clears throat> a study on interface arrangement of chromosome territories in cell nuclear uh, is taking ellipsoids in a given ellipsoid with minimum overlap. And in this problem, territory occupied by each chromosome can be modeled like steroids or ellipsoidal radiation. And in closing, ellipsoid represents the cell nucleus, and uh, it is clear that the size and shape of different uh, different across the cell types. Um, some interesting actual problems in uh, 3D printing for us, like generated mold structures for support free additive manufacturing. Mm -hmm. And in order to optimize the topology of the geometry of industrial products, and uh, provided they remain the strength characteristics. Uh, and materials finds optimal filling of a given volume by spherical and non spherical particles, or maybe mixed, uh, right to the in order to calculate the porosity of different fractions and uh, to study some chemical characteristic of the final product. And uh, for cleaning complex part shapes obtained by 3D printing from particles of non simple powder, some stable glass, non classical glass, are taking problem, which is opposite to dense packing. It's called sparse packing. The object has to be uh, arranged in the sound volume of the cylindrical container as far as possible from each other, as well as a little surfaces of the container. And 
Is the interior in an optimized placement of a clean for settling? But in this case, we need to take into account not only the geometrical constraints like look distances between objects, physical position, uh, orientation, some prohibited areas, also mechanical requirements like balancing condition. Um, but in spite of applications, each patent optimization patent problem is aimed to find the related position of the collection of objects in some domain, budget domain, and taking into account different special constraints, uh, of which is motivated by applications, as uh, so that the given objective function will be yeah. And as a, as a models of real objects, we consider special class of two and three dimensional object and it may be convex non convex connected disconnected or with multi connected components and also maybe right and oblique objects and some imposed object presented as a union uh, on the intersection of some basic function and this uh, but this class of object is called five or five objects and it is a fruit from the consideration object with no evidence goals, isolated points, and self intersection of the frontier boundary. Uh, each our uh, point set of object can be continuously rotated and translated into a three dimensional case. And uh, we also consider it this emotion vector as that emotion rather that. So, and uh, our budget two domains also make a different with uh, variable metrical characteristics. And uh, in three dimensional case, it may be some budget domains bounded by cylindrical surfaces, spherical surfaces, conical surfaces and uh, some planes. Uh, in classical technical problem, the basic constraints related to non-overlapping of objects, it means that each pair of objects has no any, uh, any common points and containment. It means that object has to be fully inside the container. And distance constraint because in some applications we need to take into account the global distances, minimum global distances between each pair of objects. And but in as you know, and there are a lot of applications where the classical containment and non overlapping constraint that do not work. So we need to introduce like so-called in our terms quasi packing containment. It means that only part of some object may remain in the container, so the intersection with the boundary of container is allowed, and the uh, uh, object can be overlapped within the some given limits and like limited overlap objects. So and the next uh, ratio constraints and ratio constraints are used to maintain certain structure uh, for example of porous media and the different particle configuration and uh, what does it mean ratio it means if we have some k type of objects in particular in terms of spheres at different radio and so each type is defined like as a number of packed objects of this type, always a total number of packed objects. And in the picture, you can see if it has some strict ratio to, oh, sorry, I use my point. This we have three types of, of spheres. Then, and in, in, in this pack, Seconds, we need to, to follow this ratio constraint. So the first part 
is one over seven, seven, the second two seven seven, and the third four seven. And it is such kind of taking spheres. And when in this uh, example we have five of the first type, two of the, uh, ten of the second, and twenty uh, on the top. In this case, we say yes, it's okay because it satisfies. <laughs> The container of 11 constraints and also the ratio constraints. Uh, so, but also in optimization program, so we have objects, budget domains, uh, some constraints, and also objectives. And uh, in we, we consider two kind of their objectives, like optimization of metrical characteristic of container or object so if you would like to find the minimal volume for example or find the sizes one or the size of the container to minimize like height if it is be word or rectangle or something or radius if you have deal with this a spherical container or uh, as for objects maybe we need to find the maximum size of the object that can be fully contained inside the container or maximization of new space of the container like maximization of the number of objects that can be packed in the given volume and uh, in order to model uh, analytical descri description give the analytical description of Taking constraints, we use so called five function technique. And uh, the five function is, is in its positive mode. Uh, so, two purpose. First, keep an object apart and keep an object inside the target container. And uh, <laughs> this function defined for two objects of arbitrary shaped objects. And it depends on the motion vectors of each of the object A and B. Motion vector in, a, a includes the mm, translation parameter and the derivation angles. And uh, so, and the value of this, this function is continuous and variable to point. And the values of this function strictly greater than zero. If object do not have any common form is equal to zero if object touch and less than zero when object has common interior form. And non-negative values of this function uh, provide non-interior non-intersection of object. I mean interior it means that touch is allowed. So, and and uh, but for some complicated shapes, uh, which can be freely rotated and translated, uh, it is uh, very difficult to describe analytical this relationship using only variable motion parameters. Therefore, we use special class of quality function that is also depends on the sum additional sorry. Of some additional variables, and but the maximum of this function by these additional variables coincide with the function of the object. For example, the simplest way to 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 introduce the non-overlapping of convex shapes it is like separated line, and <clears throat> so and uh, uh, we can like summarize the properties of the function that they analytically describe placement constraint taken into account, three translation and rotation of two three-dimensional object, variable metrical characteristics of object and container, prohibited zones, and minimal allowable distances, and of object and homotetic of stretch transformation of two and three dimension object. Later, I show some problems when the stretch transformation is used. 
and uh, so uh, using the Python description of our packing constraints, we can present the mathematical model of packing problem as mathematical programming uh, model, where the physical region described by means of by function or quasi by function form of the Latin constraints for each pair of objects and for containment constraints or quasi containment constraints for each object and uh, the containment. And also, our model uses some system of special condition motivated by application, for example, balancing condition. And, uh, <clears throat> but uh, the main thing is that, okay. Uh, mathematical model of of such problem it is very nice, but how it is solved because it is large scale, multi extremum non linear program problem. So it is just theoretically is possible, or we can use such uh, like global solvers to solve this problem of tonality, like for three objects or two. But we have some experience to find the minimum closure of two rotating. Um, convex polygons with my colleagues from uh, Ecala from Germany, and it takes two days to find the global solution. So, but uh, therefore, now I just say how we really solve the large scale and multi extended problems. And um, first of all, we say that each high function is. Uh, in general, this was smooth function because it used the operator of minimum and maximum of smooth function. And therefore, uh, the physical region can be presented as a union of the subregion. It's a union of subregion. It is like primitive <laughs> illustration. And where each subregion is described by, by means of smooth function. And if so, and our general problem can be reduced to solving some sub problems, and then choosing the sorry, and then choosing the best solution uh, from those found in the previous stage. <laughs> and uh, as for mathematical model, again, according to classification of the second problem, or we use two in general two uh, types of mathematical model. For first, mixed integer nonlinear programming models related to Nepsic problem, when we need to find, for example, maximum maximum number of items that can be arranged inside the container. Uh, but in this case, we uh, also introduce some binary variables to solve this problem and uh, taking into account the uh, Baking constraints and also the information. Mm -hmm. And the second class of problems is nonlinear programming models. When we need to minimize some, it is called open dimension problem. For example, if we have a container and we would like to minimize the height, for example, or maybe volume, or maybe width or some sizes of our uh, container. So therefore we use it as a variable of the container, for example, and on the uh, containment or quasi-containment number the level of quasi number of the constraints. And uh, so and if we use quasi by function also we need to to take into account some additional <coughs> variables. And for example, uh, for picking soft objects, it means that certain objects with, uh, in our tools, when we have some object, for example, yes, and they can under pressure change their shape and the uh, reservation of the area in two dimensional or volume of three dimensional, like it is uh, like some ellipses. And so, we minimize the height of the container and uh, under again containment non overlapping and also stretch limits because we we we've just got this 
parameters from, from the application area. And uh, next example of open dimension problems uh, for sparse taken when we need to, to find the max, maximum value of the distance which is the minimum distance between each pair of objects as well as the object and the uh, boundary of the container. And later I'll show some example of the problem with our place. It is from real life. And uh, in order to solve, it is just an example of some of these rules. And uh, to solve uh, different kind of taking problems, uh, we, our a uh, scientific team from uh, Institute of Mechanical Engineering Problems of National Academy of Science of Ukraine. For some decades, it is some teamwork. Uh, we developed method methodology how to solve this uh, different kind of problem using information of object, maintaining, placement, and the objection function, type of mathematical model. And because sometimes we need to find quick solution, so feasible is not. And so we create some seconds or maximum minutes, some minutes. And but it is one strategy, but for other problem, we need to find some local extrema because maybe it is very, uh, for example, more uh, some criteria, the more than speaking. Or start taking the goal. So therefore, we have some strategy or some uh, to solve to find the local solution. But in some investigation, global solution is also important. So therefore, we also have some uh, uh, some algorithm which is help us to get some approximation to global solution. And uh, as for so this uh, solution strategy involves three main stages. First, generate a set of feasible starting point or feasible solution. Then, search for local extrema for each starting point found in the previous step and choose the best local extrema found uh, and the step two. And <clears throat> so, to, to search for a feasible starting point, we use a different technique uh, involving a homotetic transformation of objects, a grid based algorithm, algorithm based on strip approximation, which works like seconds, and optimization by groups of variables. And, uh, for, and also to decrease uh, the size of the problem of the as mathematical programming problem. We saw the composition algorithm is like kind of metaheuristic. And uh, these algorithms, so for example, it is a feasible region, it is a feasible region of our uh, <coughs> problem. Oh, a, lot, a huge number of, uh, of, of uh, constraints non-linear constraints it is like maybe 3,000. And uh, so, therefore, if they would like to apply uh, some non-linear programming solver, it's not a possible um, a such kind of uh, the number of variables, 9,000 and so on. Therefore, uh, therefore uh, we apply this decomposition algorithm and reduce this large scale problem to the sequence of Sub problems and on each sub problem, uh, uh, after all, we got some local extrema and the local extrema and the final iteration coincide with the local extrema of our uh, general problem. And uh, so, because on each sub problem, we a more a monitor only apps of neighbors of objects and this epsilon parameters of the balance between the number of nonlinear inequalities in each problem and the number of nonlinear problems we need to, to solve to find the solution of the problem. And so and now it is 
Uh, so the third part of my presentation. Uh, it is about the computational results related to some uh, real applications. And, and usually, uh, uh, here I just give the information about the actual data we go to calculate uh, to get some results. And uh, <clears throat> uh, now about the statement of the problem, mathematical model already presented, and now just uh, uh, some words about this problem. So again, uh, for example, uh, we have first the uh, the shape of our parts like a circle, and first we find the local extrema for solid uh, circles like this one. Okay, and this also we use our apply our methodology, methodology, and then we we try to solve the problem to minimize the height, and the value like of this height is a given for us, which is got from physics. We say okay, Tatiana, you need to, to to take into account the lambda is uh is very up to the like delta one. And so, and, uh, and, and in this model, the variables are motion vectors of ellipsoids. And uh, uh, so it means the translation vectors, rotation parameter in two dimensional case. And also, the, they can, shape, uh, can change the size uh, with respect to our stretch parameter. It is also variable, and it is variable to is given some limits. And so, and now you can see that the, as shown in the rectangular neighborhood, here are some uh, group of objects, and this is how this object changes the shape on the flash. And so from the point of view of our geometric problem optimization, we just minimize the height. Of the container, and that is so. So, look, this is already published, but this is not published, it is just new. And so, when we, we, we just try to find the particle which is not spherical, right? And first for two dimensional, and then in the future, we have some on the way maybe for three dimensional uh, shapes. And now, and for so polygons, now it is again. Color it in blue, rectangular ne neighborhood of group of objects. And here it is some um, the shapes and sizes and the uh, stretch uh, under pressure. And, and but in, 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 uh, in the sense of minimizing all the height of the container. And uh, next, um, we have some also some uh, results to model some artificial forest. Uh, which is used for yes and oil industry, and but it is uh, the uh, the uh, data uh, we, we got from the physics and chemical department that gives the structure of uh, some you know, some diversity. Like uh, in this problem, we have some cylindrical sample artificial. And uh, and uh, the spherical particles of different, uh, of like like attractions, like attractions with different uh, um, their distribution level of appearance of each uh, particle of different sizes. And uh, in this case, uh, the quasi containment is used, and uh, and also and. Um, Partial non overlapping, which is like uh, considered like uh, a limited intersectional solid spheres. But the number of spheres for these examples is like about 7,000. And, and just to start the velocity of, uh, of the different principles. <laughs> and uh, also, we have some experience to solve. Uh, the problem of generating 
of wood structures for some given parts, which is as uh, though we pull some different uh, 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 structures, uh, which is uh, which is um, proposed in the literature. And uh, we propose uh, the optimization of uh, the part using uh, the taking problem of ellipsoid. And in this problem, we need to find the number of holes, the shape of holes, the position of holes, including rotation angle, but taking into account the some standard of 3D printing because it is important to take into account the minimal local distances between objects. And as you can see from the point of point of view of medical stress, you can see that our part is looks like very nice. Okay. And next uh and about the sparse packet like it. It is just new kind of packing problems, and uh, it is interesting from the mathematical statement and also for application. Because in this case, like you have some cylindrical container divided by the shell from the sub container, and in each of this sub container, that would arrange a lot of objects, but they need to. <coughs> To place what is that? Okay. Like now, if we have the dense packing, the object has to be placed as close as possible. But sparse packing, it means if you have three, for example, one, two, three items. And now, what is the uh, minimal distance between the first and the second? The second and the third. Okay, the third is one. And the distance to the boundary for the container is this. And this. For example, it is starting point. And the aim of the sparse taking to find more or less uniform uh, uh, arrangement of the object. It means if you do some additional variable row, we need to maximize this row to consider it the distance one, two, three, four, five. And so, and our aim is to, to get one, two, three. So, and now in, in this case, we have row, row, row. It is just the global solution in this result. In this case, the temperature around the every object on the boundary is like similar. Okay. And it is uh, it is very important in the in, in the problem when you clean the parts by thermal energy method because the temperature in, in the container is about 3,000 uh, cents, okay, plus. And uh, so, and though we consider, but we consider it is just uh, shapes for fun, but we consider real objects also uh, related to space engineering. And uh, so, uh, next, next problem of uh, we deal with is a uh, uh, is uh, <laughs> modeling and computer simulation of non-metabolization for cancer therapy, but from uh, the point of view of the uh, optimization taking problem, or so using our methodology. Uh, as um, in this nano context, uh, we consider one object for us is disconnected, and it is connected as three components and the core sphere, and two identical spherical components that allow to move in 
along the core sphere orbit at the given distance. So therefore, given distance is uh, it is just uh, like a parameter is given, and also allowable distance in between each kind of uh, of parts for us at this object are also given, and this part can be continuously moved and rotated because rotation is also taken about because each component consists of three uh, components, and this is illustration for two-dimensional case and three-dimensional case. And uh, the actual data we got from the Technical University of Bicycle. And next, for material science the application. And uh, um, so we uh, consider uh, Optimal filling of the given volume by spherical titanium alloy powder particles, and uh, and uh, we have uh, we need to find the best fraction for three D printing, and uh, so and the difference between experimental and computational data for spherical particles is right from one to two percent, and uh, it is good results so now we just give some recommendation and both the uh, very nice uh, kind of uh, titanium alloy powder particles and <clears throat> but this problem is so taken into account uh, the distribution log of these particles and uh, it is also some new results always uh, the non-spherical particles because non-spherical particles considerably cheaper than yes. spherical and can be used uh, also especially quickly and therefore uh, we uh, now but we have the computational uh, data is just the results were from two uh, mm, from two to five percent, and the reason is that we need not only to take into account distribution by sizes, but also for shape. Because what spherical shape is clear, but non spherical shape it is uh, so. And now we just to, to try to improve our algorithm, but it, I'm, I'm not really sure that we got the better result, but we try. And, uh, and 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 we got uh, this real data from the Department of Material Science Engineering from the Polytechnic National University. And fill in the given matrix in nano solutions. And we uh, just to say that we deal with different kinds of shapes of particles. It may be identical. Uh, like sphere cylinders, non identical cylinders, the truncated cones, uh, spherical particles, and satellites, it may be multi spherical. It may be consist of two spheres, or three, or five, up to 50, and so maybe more. And because it is important, but when we take into account, uh, when we try to pack spheres, uh, relation, but, but when we try to take into account rotation satellite or multi spherical object, we need to take into account uh, to get the dense packing uh, rotation angles. And uh, so, and uh, next is uh, the problem uh, related also to additive manufacturing. Uh, joined with from Open Institute of Chemical Technologies, Technical University of Dresden, and uh, all with and, and the main of what is the problem? We need to minimize the number of the platform in which we need to print as much as possible ceramic uh, parts. And our results allow us to increase the building protocol of 70% and decrease the number of printing jobs by 44%. Just to apply our algorithm and our methodology 
to, to place uh, the uh, parts as close as possible, taking into account 3D printing standards. And uh, also just to say that we can take different objects taken into account uh, prohibited areas and in two and three dimensional case and taking ellipses in different containers, maybe ellipses, rectangles, polygons, spheres of different types of objective function and the different shape of three dimensional objects which may be uh, convex, non-convex and also bright and big objects and in and uh, <clears throat> also in some application we need to arrange not only object but groups of objects and in these problems inside the group we need to arrange as close as possible but between groups it has to be some distance so therefore in one problem uh we just take into account the dense packing and sparse cracking and it's very nice, very beautiful model for, for solving this problem and and uh, the picking ellipsoids and uh, taking into account rotations and the rotations and some covering problems also uh, deal with when we need to when we have some check and we need to cover the by some uh some objects mm -hmm. and color it means that each point of the domain belongs at least a uh, covering project and uh, and uh, so uh the by function technique for future research and project and we say that because we can model any different placement constraints not not many but many different and for two and three dimensional objects and the range of objective function and the Z5 function technique allows to solve problems and that you can see by range of applications but we are interested in collaboration with researchers who have proposals for new problems or extension of problems we, uh, can be addressed using uh, the Z5 function and uh, I would like to say that uh, I did gratitude to Yuri Stoen, that is the founder of the high function technique. Now that it's in the pocket. And, and uh, many thanks to our scientific team from Ukraine. And also, I would like to say that this work supported by Judicia Kerrigan. Thank you, Julia Beno, who invited me to the uh, University of Leeds for these two years and the uh, National Research Foundation of Ukraine and Volkswagen Foundation grants and with our colleagues from the testing university and uh, and the same thing for attention but just at the end I would like to show you some demo to demonstrate the optimization of the and uh, at the one second. Just a couple of minutes. Okay, now it is just how it is happens optimization procedure. First, if this was just point, and then we grow as much as possible, and then we find the user homotetic, homotetic transformation, the optimal sizes of our uh, of our container. Next, one second. And now it is also some searching for feasible starting point and local optimization for packing polytops in the minimum volume cuboid. First, it is the starting uh, size of our container. And then we try to find the feasible solution for our further optimization. And now it is grow first the circumscribed 
those and they pair our polydopes, and then we minimize the volume. So we, we just try to find the sizes of our optimal sizes of our container. And it is for convex, and also we can uh, uh, use some methodology. Uh, how to deal with non-convex shapes. Um, and it is just an example how to find the low for the And also for ellipsoid, it is, I like most of all these shapes. Okay. And first the starting point. So we grow first our, our ellipsoids and then we try to find the radius and height of our uh, cylindrical container to get the best one. And also I would like just to say that we we'll also deal with some uh, covering problems. So if we have some region and we need to cover the given number of spheres uh, to minimize the radius. And so now I think it is all I would like to, to present because it is some my first presentation in 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 such community <laughs> because usually I give the presentation is called like taking on kind cutting community and operational research uh, some conference when we consider exactly this problem, how to solve, what is a communication problem, and so on. So, uh, so okay, sorry. Uh, and uh, our challenging problem is our dream, so it is uh, to incorporate in our models, like some physical uh, functions, which will be close to not only like computational, so uh, some simulation or modeling, but maybe will be helpful. Uh, we try, as you can see, for some problems. But as, as now I have just some something from presentation, and I'm really uh, like in in the kind of uh, um like from my point of view, this is fantastic. What we do. So thank you for inviting me. One of your early demonstrations had very thin, very thin cylinders like coins. Coins. Okay. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, like, yeah, very, th very thin. So very short cylinders. Mm -hmm. Maybe this is Have you done any experiments where you try to um, see how how densely they pack? We all know it should be, but so if you you try to you know numerical experiments in here. Uh, yes, uh, we have uh, experiment a lot of numerical experiments, but it is uh, it is not the aim of my presentation. Uh, if you're interested, I have a lot of uh, special uh, prepare it mm -hmm. if this question arises. So yes, and uh, for uh, for some we have some extra model. And uh, as for your question, we have uh, a, a, a experiments and we use data which we got from the people for physics or for chemical or neuroscience science or geology. <laughs> so it is it just, but but we we just interested in any interesting problems, and we will be happy if somebody interesting in our. So, could uh, with your fine algorithm, do you understand what state you normally end up in? Do do you end up in like random close packing for some of these um for some of these cases you showed us, or is or 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 what that state? That the algorithm find okay. represents. Okay, uh, it this depends on on the statement of the problem uh, because, uh, for example, uh, when uh, we first knew this task taken, 
our colleagues at uh, Salta. We came at this the complicated problems because we tried to solve it is using a lot of integrals or something else to calculate how to arrange uniformly. The same because it is some problem uh, arise when we use our equipment and the, that some objects are uh, not good at uh, cleaning. And so what we need to do? So first of all, we try to find the way to construct mathematical model. And we then we try to 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 just to test this model for, for small problems. And uh, and then we go back more complicated. And after that, a uh, new model is appeared. And we just classify this second problem, which is uh, just it was the first, not before. And uh, now I just we demanded three new second problems, which does not appear in the picking part in community. And therefore, so we do not know in advance, except we exactly know uh, the statement and if application is okay, please find the minimal volume. Okay, we know that the objective function is the volume. And if you have okay, please find that we know that the box is this width and uh, this length, but where I do height, so the objective function is my height and and also if some different uh uh, restrictions or constraints, like when they collaborate with our colleagues from Italy and they create that with some company creating uh, satellites, and they say, Okay, we need to, to yeah. we just try to approximate, but they didn't give some dance. <laughs> uh, the arrangement taking into account the minimum and maximum, so we need to incorporate in our model the constraints. And therefore, we got new model and new problem. But as as for the first problem, we suffered the exemplary because it is like online question. And so it's also new. Great, great. Okay. Excellent. Great. Another question. Yeah. So how um how complex and expensive is the algorithm? Oh, okay. <laughs> this is a usual, uh, usual question. When is the number of particles, for example, not more than it depends on shape mm -hmm. and, and uh, on, on the shape, <laughs> and it all depends on the number? Because if we use, uh, for example, that function and, and, and the uh, small number of objects like up to 30, it may be seconds. And then, but for local extrema, for physical extrema, it is just it is just seconds because and for local extrema more than fifty, uh, so an object if uh, it is here it is okay, but if it's uh, any solid, it is like takes maybe two hours. Okay. Okay, so therefore, we said I do not say that it is just, uh, but I know that it is exactly drastically uh, worse to time because it depends on the number of variables as you can see when they move. And for each for each object, for each international uh, space, we have six variables. Yeah. So, yeah. And so, um, say if we did like the um, so like what Ken was talking about this morning with non spherical shapes and simulated particles, we could probably do, I don't know, I'd say maybe a hundred thousand in maybe maybe six hours, give a very minimized version. Now, it wouldn't necessarily be the optimal, necessarily how optimal yours is, but we would probably run the plus back a bit better if we take it. So, okay. how you know, is there an advance to this sort of technique versus an approach like that? Okay. And uh, in this case, we have a fantastical problem. <coughs> and we do with new particles which may be small. We use special technique, which is uh, like allow us to 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 detect the layer by layer. 
and the, which is and in this layer we try to find as things as possible and which is fairness is also first to find a typical solution but with some kind of a bit bigger uh, algorithm to optimize the typical typical solution so it depends if you would like to say okay i would like quickly like for not more than one minute i would like to get some uh, results okay we use one kind of our algorithm or combination of algorithm. But if you would like, okay, I would like to improve the course. So, okay, I give you more time, please, but try to find for me more dense pattern for my example pattern. Okay. And uh, we try to find. So it depends on the requirements of each time. Great, great. I think I'm Okay, that's time to be great.